Hello everyone, what's up, man? I'm Roshan, Haikyuu Season 4, Episode 8! Wow! Well, let's just say we're right now in the middle of a match with Dr. Uh, you know, High and stuff like that. You know, let's just say Dr. High, they improve a lot back, back from you know, Season 2 and stuff like that. Well, you know, since they learned from the defeat from Karasuno, they became quite solid with their defense. Of course, they also lost to, you know, the Purple uh, Series that was uh, Academy after all. But let's just say they improve on the defense, they're able to, like, read Kageyama's setting of the ball. That's why Kageyama was kind of frustrated from last, last week's episode, so... He kind of reverted back to his old ways and now basically being a king, commanding people, uh, uh, like, you know, just shouting at people, saying that why don't you hit the, the spike and stuff like that, you should at least touch my ball, the ball I set for you guys. So you can say he became the king again, but let's just say they got used to that personality because they kind of saw it coming. Because, so also because like, they're mature enough to handle his like, you know, a king personality, that's why they're able to like, you know, just suck it up and tell him to like, you know, better to understand us before you start to re elicit your personality. So let's just say, you know, you know, as, you know, when you reach high school, you became more mature and you're able to deal with uh, people with, you know, very bad personality. And this Kagema can, you know, he has the king personality sleeping inside of him. And he's last week so he kind of like released that again. Of course, you know, now they're able to, you know, they're in high school, they're able to deal with it properly. But let's just say, let's just see how much longer he lasts in this day because, like, you know, once you don't get, once the play doesn't come your way, you get annoyed. It happens in sports, by the way. So, yeah, let's just check out today's episode and see whether or not they actually end the warm up match before they move on to the more fun stuff, like preparing for the, you know, the national tournament. So, yeah, here we go in 3, 2, 1, go. Yep, the fourth set already. So, synchronized attack doesn't really work on them because, you know, they're able to read Kagayama setting the ball. See? Just like that. Hey! Yeah, they're not letting any loopholes in, you know, this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, they're not letting any loopholes in this, like, um, attack because, like, you know, they just want to make sure that they're able to, like, block every shot. Which shows that they're able to read the game now. And not just like um, st a standing defense. Get lost in the crowd. Okay. So, get lost in the crowd. So, what? Cause confusion or something? I think that's what he meant. Cause confusion in the crowd. So, in other words, distraction for the team. So, in this case, making sure that they you know, lose the this, this sync, um, sync in the reading the game and. and and go out of defense. I think that's what he meant. But we shall see, of course. I mean, so far, this past eight episodes has been like training arc and Hinata improving as a person. So that's so I don't like, really expect to see any like intense match like we saw in back in season one, two, and three. But I'm pretty sure like once we get over with this training arc, we're gonna get move on to like the more national t t t games. That which you know everyone's really looking forward to, especially the fact that Kageyama now get to see firsthand how strong the players are for the national level since you know he trained with them after all. And of course, you know, with, with that in mind, he also needs to push the machines that carries to know or like in shape to challenge them. Especially the fact last episode, they're not able to like get um hit this ball that he set for them. That's why he's kind of annoyed that he's just, just also scared that they're not able to like play well in the national tournament. That's why he's trying to push them to the limits from last episode. But let's just say sometimes you just need to be more aggressive on the court. So yeah, let's check out this episode, shall we? Mm hmm. Yep, confusion. He not to join the the run. Yep. He not to joining in. Hey, hey, nice. Oh, so close. Oh, they won the first set. Yay! Yay! They finally won the first set. Yeah, but let's just see if they're able to catch up. Ah, see you walk. <laughs> nice. See you walk. <laughs> you know, improve on the back muscles and stuff like that. And the flexibility. And of course, avoid injury too. Yeah, distraction. That's what I meant. Distraction. Mm-hmm. Yep.
Well, you know, once they learn about the the, the tactics and the, the movement of the players, they obviously gonna get over the fact that of this distraction. Uh huh. Yep. I mean, that's the whole point of this. The the, the play of game. They block. They block your attack. Yep. <laughs> Is that supposed to be happy about? Oh my god, really man? You, you, you say you're gonna be pessimistic? Yeah, exactly, which team are you on? Demo Yeah, I mean, they're, of, of course they're like meant to, meant to prepare for this They're meant to prepare for Casino bounce back Yep, get lost in the crowd. Distract them, basically. Sound good to me. Hey, the king agrees. Uh huh. Ah, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Almighty, but. Yep, means that. Yep. So take one attack away, so that you know they, they get confused. Yep. Mm hmm. So keep on pushing forward, keep on pushing forward, try something new and just keep on using the same thing over and again until it works. <laughs> so just basically just keep on improving, keep on uh, pu pushing forward. Again, confuse synchronized attack. <laughs> they all focus on Hinata since you know he is the one that, that called um, uh, broke the defense in the first place until the end Jaham yeah, hey nice confusion yep of course man he does has like the main focus he's like the standout one yep Demo. Hey. Oh, it's nice safe. Hey. Hey. Oh, there we go. The fast attack. Well, you know, you have to be flexible in the game. You just have to be flexible in the game. Hey. Oh, you just have to be flexible in the game. Able to like read the situation and use the skill that you learned. Yep, it blended it quite nicely too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The setter. Mm hmm. Yep, overload. Overload information so that they get confused. That's the good terminology right there we learned from psychology. Overload. Yep. Thinking too much, that's the part of distraction. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Then the one sneak behind, attack from it. Yep. Distraction, attack from uh, confusion. What? So...
Mm-hmm. I wonder what he meant by that though. Yep. Yeah, they start to learn. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Guess blocking, ha 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 Yep, that's the whole point of it Yep Guess blocking you know, they get, Now they're gonna focus on Hinata now and other, and from other, instead of other players And with this they also, you know, start to get confused and they start to play inadequ inadequately that's the whole point of the mental game that you know the t the coach told you not to, to do be a distractor mm -hmm. oh my god at least I, I mean at least I gain a good lead like three points hey nice Oh wow, he's actually working hard. He's tired. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Another shit of puzzle like that time. <laughs> well, everyone's different. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. R know your teammate. Hey, oh, out. Oh. <laughs> Learn encouragement. I know, right? Yep. Uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, surfing sucks, man. Yeah, exactly, right? They hit to spectate and to insult you. Oh my god, cut down by two points. How many play eight sets already? Yep, yep, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. Yep. Yep. He's ready to show off his floaters, sir. Huh? What? Really? Okay. <laughs> really? Okay, let's just see how good his floaters serve is. Hey, nice. Yep. We're gonna do receive. Hey! Oh, uh, so close. <laughs> Hi. Oh, good coaching right there. <laughs> hey! Oh, minus tempo. Block? Hey, block. <laughs> oh, that close combat, man. <laughs> One more time, man. Confused, synchronized attack. Hinata. Yep. Yep, he's the one. That's a distraction, man. Wrong person. Hey, nice. He he got caught in the distraction. Yeah, overload. Yep, he was because he you knows he's focusing on him. Yep, he fake jumped. He fake jumped.
Mhm. Instinkt. <lacht> Nein, da. So, shouldn't they be winning the first set already? Hey. Oh. I know. They're playing solid defense, man. Mm hmm. I'm not scared. Of course, man. You learn from it. You know that your team's backing you up. And one more time. One more time. One more time. I know he's flying higher than before. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, nice one. Now that is what I call power spike. Hey, not bad. They really pushed them to the limit. So I guess this is the end of friendly game. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. I see. Mm hmm <laughs> Okay. Finger training. Just do this. Push up with your fingers, man. We can do push up with your finger. That's why you improve on your just finger strength. Or you can just do like you know hand grip training. That you can also improve on it. What's your highest reach? Oh, he's interested. Mhm. Mm I mean, so in the, uh, to to be honest, in volleyball, you can jump high. Yep. I mean, in volleyball, to be honest, you can jump high. 340 is like normal for them. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they have this like good warm up training so that they get, you know, a warm up game so they get an idea what to improve on before the national training. Although it frustrates them most of the time, but they also learn how to penetrate a defense and cause distraction. So that's the, the art of today's episode. Or this series, uh, this past two episodes. Of course it's intimidating man, of course you, you have blockers that big, of course you'll be intimidating. Even I'll be intimidated. <laughs> Facial hair. Hmm. Is he gonna say something or just bowing? Just bowing. He's another person that speaks a lot. Cha. <laughs> of course, he cycles everywhere, man. <laughs> Look who's tired, man. Look who's tired. <laughs> Look who's tired. <laughs> He do Nishimoya, he's always energetic man. He, I don't ever see him get tired before. Oh Hey Oh more push up, more push up. Hmm. Hey, hey, nice. <laughs> How to kill the ball? Mhm. Mm 
I see. Mm -hmm. You have to have people there. They would and he would improve on it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's also a perfect chance for him to practice on his floater shot, floater serve, and of course Nishimura to improve on his like receiving skills too. So it's all win-win for both of them. Hey. Of course, have a, a same stimulus, same situation. If you practice in the same spot, you're just going to be good at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that supposed to be a good thing or is that supposed to be a bad thing? But yeah, he's a good thing because he's a loner. He's a loner. Ah, Nimoto. I'm surprised he can play in the snow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh, really? First everything in gym, huh? So I guess you have a very sporty sister. Guess he runs in the family. Mm-hmm. Oh look at this man. Circus. <laughs> Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Yeah, haha, ha, show how he's done. Dun, 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 dun. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, at least he improved on his, like, you know, uh, receiving skills. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. It's almost like he's performing for a circus. <laughs> Yi Chan. What? Yeah, I mean, of course. Oh, oh how cute. Best friends. The four is the best friend. <laughs> And that's it. Oh, I think there's uh, like a post credit scene. It's longer than usual. I'll just stay to the end. So, it's the end of the friendly game now. So now, I think either next episode will be them doing some final training and then move on to the national tournament or just go straight on to the national tournament in Tokyo. Most likely, I just want to see them get cracking with the national tournament because, you know, that's everyone has been waiting for that. But I think that because I think we just have to wait for the second half of that like in the summer period. So I don't think that we're going to see the national, the, like a proper national game, like into the summer period. But, you know, in the, the, our summer period, because like we, this is broken up into two parts. The second part will be in the sub, in summer season. So, yeah, I think this, I think for the last few episodes, we, I think we're just gonna like focus on like some final preparation for the national tournament. Or we get, get, we get to the national tournament, then we play, then we might see one game, and then maybe that game will be a cliffhanger to the second half of the season. Or maybe we end the first game, and then that, that will be like the cliffhanger to the second half of the season. But we shall see, of course. But so far, you know, we, at least we get to see some, some sort of bad volleyball game in play. Although it's more of a friendly game, so there's no intensity to the, to the whole thing. It's more like, you know, this, like, them still Sticking around, chilling, just you know, get to know how to how to break through the defense of that high, and of course, learning individual um, new improvement skills and stuff like that, and just uh, we'll learn some new tactics. So just all part of you know, to today, um, this past few episodes, learning, seeing them how to improve on their game plans and so and skills.
Okay, make it this time, huh? It's finally time for the national tournament, I guess. Or maybe they have another one of those uh, last minute training just to like get them off pre prepared for it. But yeah, today's episode is basically the conclusion of the friendly for the friendly game before the national tournament. And obviously, you know, before for, before any big major tournaments, many teams, even professional teams, uh, tends to you know ask schools to that are not participating in the tournament or sometimes participating in the tournament, they have like a friendly game with them so that they can like you know prepare uh, see where to improve on, see whether the team works uh, actually works, synchronize attacks. Um, individual um, improvements and of, of course you know realizing see if there's any, any like um mishap in the, within the teamwork or any, any like clashing personalities that's all part of the form of, form of game so that you can help the coach they see where to like, do some last minute improvement for the before the main tournament because like when it comes to the main tournament training uh, like you know Re identifying weakness and, and training and stuff like that like some extra si side training it's gonna be like kind of hard because you know if you, you lose the game you're out basically so that's why warm-up games are very important so they can get the team ready for the national tournament so that there's no like mishaps or any like um lack of training uh, lack of like improvement um being shown but let's just say they managed to like learn uh, confusion attacks that you know help them like break any solid defense team because remember this that's a high maybe the, the best defense in Tohoku region or Miyazaki region but how about the, the nation in general I'm pretty sure there's an even stronger defense around Japan so that's why you know having to play against Tate High can allow them to find out how to break through the defense so, and of course you know allow other players to like learn how to like you know um, spike the ball have more confidence in spiking the ball like you know a tight um, um, da, um, tai Chi um, you know, like he able to like you know learn how to like you know break through the wall rather than you know be scared of the wall. Um, and of course, uh, for the new new newbie who learns the floater shot now, it would like, let's just see whether whether or not she can he can like contribute more to the team in terms of like, you know pr pr providing a floater uh, shot and stuff like that. So yeah, it's all about allow allowing you to identify your weakness, identify where to improve on. Learning how to you know receive the ball properly, read the game, and most importantly for Kagema's case, learn how to deal with Kagema's uh, annoying personality, so that you know, so that it won't actually actually affect the team like we saw in the previous two three seasons. So yeah, let's just see how the national training go training goes. And of course Hinata, he really learns a lot throughout this training camp. He able to improve as a person rather than just like spiking the ball. He able to read the game play as a distraction and of course they learn they gain some new um, tactics to like go against other um, schools now so it's a very good um, episode indeed let's just allow um, no Karasuma to like get prepared learn know what to improve on before the national training camp and of course you know able to bond to the team um, analyze learn to like you know appreciate um, um, Appreciate the fact that we have uh, Kagama is able to be there to like you know making sure the ball is set properly, but yeah, let's just see how the next national training training camp goes. I mean, national tournament goes. I'm pretty sure next episode will be the last of training camp, or maybe they just go straight to the national tournament. So we shall see, of course. So yeah, hope you can enjoy this video. Give a like, share, subscribe, review content. See you guys next video. Something else, like I said.